Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, where it's time for our second Twilight area. And I was just really starting to enjoy how pretty everything was. Want me to let you into the twilight? No, but I don't have a choice. Yes. <laughs> Gentle! Let me in, more like just throw me in and I'm on my own. Ah. <laughs> my god, it's like staring into the sun. <laughs> That's a good boy. Now, you need to listen to what I say from now on. Ah, oh, look. How lovely the black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look so much better like this than in those dusty old clothes anyway. Are you saying you want to see me naked? So let's get going. Oh, God. That won't work. Give it up. Did you hear me? You can't return to the world of light that easily. Well, I didn't expect it to stop me, like, in two steps. I just wanted to, you know, look at it. <sighs> Welcome to Twilight Kakariko Gorge. And we're about to be introduced to a story ability. It'd be nice if they use this for more than a story. Alright, sharpen your senses. And get a good sniff. You learned the youth's scent. See, is it being a wolf more convenient? Now use X to hone your senses. You've begun to you've begun to reawaken as a wolf, I think. You know, I'm not gonna complain about being a wolf. All right, so here's how scents work. Once you learn a scent, you can follow it to the source, and you're gonna need to do this a few times. Now, if you know where you're going, you don't need to be in this mode all the time, because really what this does, as much as I know I appreciate it right now, it cuts off your field of view quite a bit, and it's not really a secret where we're going. We're going across that gorge over there. But I want to look over here, see if there's anything interesting. More importantly, like, I want to see if the heart piece I was expecting to find in the last episode is actually here, because I think you have to be in Kakariko Gorge to find it. I, was, I thought it might be just before the dark area, the twilight area, but I think it's supposed to be... Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, yeah, it's over there. You guys might not even be, be able to see it, but I saw it briefly. Let's see if I can get a good look at it. Um, yeah, there you go. Right there at the top, kind of reddish of the screen, right in the middle of the light. Let's see if we can make that better. Anyway, that's what I was looking for. So we gotta be a human. Because we can get that if we have the Gale Boomerang, which means our fifth heart container has been pushed back even further. In any other game, I'd have a fifth heart container right now. <laughs> any other one. Ah, it's you guys again. You guys are gonna be a pain, aren't you? Ah, I guess you're not that much of a pain. Also, I kind of spoiled your ambush, didn't I? We didn't even see the wall come down. I was ready to go. What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ah, oh, what a pain. Oh, well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. I'm a dog. Well, I'm a wolfie. The yellow arrow marks where we are. You knew that, right? Whenever you destroy those creatures from the darkness, a portal opens that looks like this on the map. You hear me? It's called a portal. You better remember that. Definitely not copywritten or anything. 
And in those woods we came through. Newspaper. Yes, it's got to be around here. You need a bus from I'll use my power to take you to the location of the open portal. Pick where you want to go. Um... I think it's the North Baron Woods. But now we have quick travel. So every time we destroy one of those one of those groups of creatures in the twilight, we open up a quick travel location, which is going to be very useful. This because this game is quite big. Yep, there is what we're looking for. See, I told you we're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easily. You better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. I did it. I looked hard. It's over here. Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? Yeah, warp it. Good little obedient wolf. All right, we're gonna warp it back to no, back over here. Drop it right in the gorge. Yep, let's go. You know, let's remember not to piss her off too much. Just, just saying. See, just as I thought, mm-hmm. So, is it the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what we're looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, let's never make her too angry. Also, is this actually structurally sound? We just, it, we didn't actually nail it down or anything. We just kind of dropped it in place and hope for the best. All right, so now we can split up again. Once you've learned a scent, you're gonna keep tracking that scent every time you go into your your uh, wolf senses mode. I wanna see what's over here. I wanna see if there's anything of interest. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be the way to more of a Hyrule field, but I wanna take a look. Wee, traveling faster. Plus, oh no, it's, it's North Kakarika, okay. All right. It's just another way to Kakariko Village. We'll go in the way we're supposed to, I guess. We must. But thou must! It's not the button I wanted. I mean, we'll have plenty of time for exploration when we're, you know, human. Wolfie jumps! Wolfie jumps! Fear my wolfy jumps. Everybody fear my wolf shake. My wolf shake kills all the boys in the yard. And they're like, oh god, please stop biting, it really hurts. What? Huh? What are they doing there? This is a pretty elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in or out? Ed will, I bet it'll be worth our time to dig in. Remember, you can bypass any gate by digging through it. What's up? What are you, what are you doing? What's going on on this side? What's going on in this thread? I really hate combat as a wolf. It's just so awkward. It's not it's not fluid at all. Especially when I do it. <clears throat> Alright. Here we go.
Interesting. Monsters have taken over this entire village. Yeah, I did that way too early. I didn't see how far away this one was. At least we can activate a warp point here. Come here. Would you come here? Come here. Everybody come fight together. Stop wandering off on your own and attack me. It's the first time I've seen them spaced this far apart and like, really? All right, I'm gonna have to defeat one. And then get the other two. I'm not gonna be able to get all three at once. There we go. All right. Because these two want to stick together, but the third one's got no interest in it. Which means I can't really defeat them with style. And there's our portal. To the hero who was transformed into a blue-eyed beast in the realm of shadows in twilight this way you, you could just say hey you over here it's much easier i am a spirit of light hero chosen by the gods look for my light Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. You got the vessel of light. It's crucial to collecting the tears of light. If you fill it with the blah, 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 to see these evils, blah. The insects of darkness, they are the form taken by the evil that attached itself to my scattered light. Yeah, we've read this before. In the shadow, they're, they're blah, blah, blah. With the last of my power, let me show it on the map. But be careful. The darkness now hunts you. All right. So once again, we only have 12 pieces of light. You know, if I knew this game better, I could compare which uh, tiers of light were, were um, removed, but I don't know the game that well. I think we're gonna have to find a way to dig in here because there's a number of of tiers of light that are inside this house and a lot a lot of the tiers of light in this area are going to be inside oh there we go there's a place to climb up let's go oh my god i'm too fat for a wolf and it's too much fluff. It's not fat, it's fluff. Cripes, I don't see those black brutes anywhere. They've got to be hiding somewhere waiting for the helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure don't seem pressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against beasts that strong, any huh? Once they attack, it's over. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her and a whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone and there were two monsters waiting. You connecting the dots? That means that if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... Barnes! Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, Ronaldo, all I mean to say is that it's risky here too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a cellar. What? You got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. I would not do that. When Father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects, insects like the beasts outside. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Link is coming to save us all. I can feel it. These kids knew you'd come save them. What a hero. How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. <laughs> you were chosen by the gods and the only th and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit. Or worse, into a dark monster when you enter twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You may be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. You're the type to worry about everything, I can tell. But don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose this state of affairs after all. Anyway, what's with having to light candles to get to the basement? It's not very subtle, is it? So what are you going to do now, my lonely little hero? <laughs> I'm going to light the candles to get to the basement and you, you're you going to be really creepy. But that means I need a stick. Otherwise, I carry fire in my mouth. There's a stick. Now to light some torches. Or some candles. And I'm not, not sure if this ever actually goes out. Oop. And it does. Okay. So we need to actually hurry. And any button we do drops it. Okay. There we go. How did she... I guess she just blew up the candles, wouldn't she? Alright. Is that what you want? It's, it's open. I hope you're happy. Also, I brought you the stick. What sorcery is this? The entrance to the cellar opening on its own? Could those beasts have engineered even this? What do you have to say, coward? Cripes, seems like everyone's trying to pull a fast one these days. Boy, I don't have a clue who this Link fella is, but I gotta say, I ain't overly confident he's gonna come save this village. You better, I'm probably gonna end up being one of your best customers. To the basement! Give me your tears and stop terrorizing everybody down there. Alright. That's a quarter of the tears of light already. That's basically everything we came in here to do. Of course, we can't really go back the way we came, so we can get out with Midna's help that way. This is an interesting statue. This is not going to be the only time we're going to be in the cellar. Alright, help me out, Midna. Let me out of here. How about that? Looks like he can climb the scaffolding. Alright, fortunately I'm not trapped. That's convenient. Oh good. We're in the graveyard. With bats. Well, shadow monsters. Shadow bats? I don't think there's any tears of light in here. I'm not seeing them, so we'll explore the graveyard another time. But I mean, it wouldn't be Kakarika Village if you didn't have the graveyard, right?
All right. So that's three tiers of light, and how are we gonna get in there? There's. Uh, oh. Shadow buzzard. And it's gone. Wait, what's this say? Can I read? Dead end ahead, eld in management. Alright, well, you know what they say about RPGs is if you go through the places you're not supposed to, you'll end up where you need to be. Doesn't look like we can get in the general store, and it doesn't look like there's any reason to anyway. Danger! Do not jump across from here. Hotel accepts no responsibility for accidents. Eld in. I, I gave a woofy hop and I made it. I feel like I can hear bugs. Bugs! Okay, it's roosting in the fireplace, so... Hmm. I need to do something about that. First, I need to do something about this. You made an enemy of an angry wolf today! Also, I see a chest I'm gonna want. I wish I really had the finish him command. But I don't. So there is only one in here, and I need to basically light that stove on fire. Because that's the only way I can really even get to it, if I remember right. No, Wolfie doesn't want to fall down. So let's see, I need a stick, and I need some fire. I mean, there's torches everywhere. But I need a stick first. Where is a good stick? Now that I've cleared everything out. Is there a stick near the stove that I missed? It's kind of hard to see because everything's in twilight. Actually makes it really hard to pick up the fine details. That's my excuse anyway. Ooh, a heart. I think I needed that. Oh, I can open it as a wolf. All right, cool. I get 20 rupees. I'm a good boy. Oh yeah, there's there's some sticks here. Alright. Light it with the torch. There we go. Puzzle solved! I, I puzzled. Alright, where did it go? Flew up here somewhere? Yeah, there it is. What's the matter? You don't like fire? You can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen! Alright, third of the way there. Two houses cleared of their infestation. What's over here? Fortunately, there's all these convenient places and sloped roofs for me to climb up and jump between. Looks like I need to... Oh, no, that's a grate. I can't go in there yet. Can I go in this one? Yes, I can! <laughs> ah. Alright, do I need to... Oh, I need to move it. Okay. Get out of there. Stop hiding in there, you coward. Come out to face me in doggo combat! Alright, that was easy. Doggo combat complete. Now to get out of here. Oh, Alright, from here? If you're done with your errand, then let's get out of here. Uh, I think I'm done. I know, I'm hoping because I have to remember that. Alright, well, be a bitch. Okay, there we go. We can leap up from here. Whee! Doggo away! Uh, 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 uh. 
All right. Don't leave me alone. Ooh, what is this? Yeah, I can't read the sign and there's something in my eye. Barnes Bomb Shop, buy or sell, occasional holidays. Buy or sell. Interesting. All right. Buy or sell bombs. To be fair, there I think there is a reason you need to sell occasionally. Okay, I expected window to break. Alright, what's going on with this? What's the puzzle here? What am I missing? Probably something really obvious. Do I get rid of you? Eh, why not? Probably make my life easier or some such. Really wish I had to finish them. That is such a good move. That's why they make sure you have it. You can't ignore it. I'm trying to remember what the deal with this is. Do I have to wait for an event to break this window? Or am I even... I, I would... I might not be in the right place. Might be some more bugs. Around. Actually, how do I get there? How do I get. Oh, actually, do I need to go this way? No, do not go this way. You know what? I'm going to have to figure out how to get the remaining bugs next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me a like, send me your comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys then. Y'all have a great day. Bye bye.